back to another video, y'all. We are here at McLean's RV in Rockwall, Texas, taking a look at these Grand Design Momentum MAV products that are a new travel trailer for 2023 from Grand Design. You'll be able to see the floor plan layout and the specs on the screen. These are actually both their 27 MAV floor plans. So you'll be able to see that on the screen. And while you're taking a look at that, I want to let you know why we are here at McLean's if you don't know already. McLean's is our newest partner dealer with Firmly Unbound, our company. So what we did is we want to make sure that you always have the best buying and ownership experience possible with getting into an RV. So we actually talked to over a dozen different dealerships starting in our home state of Texas. And we're trying to find ones that we want to work with that we feel like have a product line that we believe in and that we like that we want to show y'all and want you to purchase or would recommend you purchase and also have the service to back it up throughout the process of buying your RV and owning your RV. And McLean's really checked all of those boxes. More than anything, everybody that we have talked to within their organization at every level has been a really great person, a respectable person, and that means a lot to us. So we have partnered with them. We're really excited about this because now that means you can text us at the number on the screen if you are interested in this RV, and we will personally assist you in making sure that you have a great experience with finding and purchasing your next RV if you are in the Texas or Oklahoma area as McLean's has five different locations, four in Texas and one in Oklahoma City. So if you are ready to start seriously shopping, you can text us at the number on the screen and we will make sure you get taken care of. Now, as we go through this travel trailer here, really the most impressive thing right off the bat that you can't see is this is a 101 inch wide body construction travel trailer. So that is going to give you a ton of space inside to load in toys and it just gives it a bigger feel overall inside that is definitely tangible when you walk in there. Also looks really, really nice. It is a very sexy looking travel trailer, especially for being an aluminum sided travel trailer. We saw this first with the Grand Design Transcend where they did a different style aluminum siding than what we typically see with a corrugated aluminum siding on a travel trailer. This here looks a lot cleaner and then the graphic package that they have on here is one of my favorites that I have ever seen in an aluminum sided RV. So with that being said, aluminum sided RV, this is going to be considered more of an entry level travel trailer compared to like the fiberglass sided momentums that we have here. These are available as well. If this is something that you are looking for, you can always text us at the number on the screen. If maybe this isn't the right RV that you're looking for, but something in the Grand Design lineup or any of the other brands that they carry as well here at McLean's, if they have, we can help you out with. So as we go into this, with the aluminum sided siding, you're going to have a wood frame, which you can see here when we go into the pass-through storage compartment. You have wooden framing underneath here. So that means all the framing on this trailer is going to be wooden. And this is a really great size storage compartment, especially with this being 101 inch wide body construction. You also have a ladder in here that is the ladder for inside to get up onto the bunks that are in the interior space. You have a mount right here and I just finally figured out what this is. I always was thinking this was like a TV mount and I was totally wrong on that. That is actually a flagpole mount. So you can mount a flag to your travel trailer. So you have that there right on the front cap. Have your awning here that is going to cover about two thirds of the length of the travel trailer. Two LED lights, one on the back corner and then one here as well. Um, no LED light strip in the awning though that I can see. So just those two LED lights there. And then same colors along this side as well. And then another impressive thing about this toy hauler is there are no slide outs on it. So really big feel in there, but don't have to worry about any slide outs whatsoever. Come along the back, it is prepped for a backup camera. You can see we already have the patio down here and this is what it will look like in the patio form. You want it to go all the way down to the ground as a ramp to load in your toys. You just disconnect these cables here and that will allow it to go all the way down to the ground. Come along this side. You'll have your ladder to get up onto the roof. There is solar on the roof as well. So you will have solar capabilities to keep your RV charged or keep your batteries, sorry, on your RV charged. And this is a 50 amp travel trailer. So there are two ACs, which I really feel like they could have got away with just doing one on this one and just sold it that way. But I'm glad to see two on there and definitely feel like you're gonna have no problem staying cool in this travel trailer. 50 amp power cord connection right here. And then you have a spray port right there. So that's gonna be for cold water. Black and gray tank dump valves all come to this one location here. And then you're gonna have manual stabilizers on the front and the back. So you can use a drill connection to hook onto the end of that there. And that is the easiest way to just shoot those up and down for your stabilizers. 
Looking at the exact specs on this model, it is a unloaded vehicle weight rating of 6,774 pounds. Fully loaded though is 11,000 pounds because it has a 4,186 pound cargo carrying capacity. So you could get away for sure with towing this with a half ton truck if it's a heavier duty half ton or like a modern half ton. Um, but you start loading toys and stuff like that in there and you might want to get into that three quarter ton space as that weight can definitely go up as you start adding things into this toy hauler aspect of this travel trailer. You can have a battery disconnect switch here, satellite connections if you want satellite connections for your RV to get cable on the road. You have your solar charge controller there and that's pretty much it. This is your city water connection or your, or your tank fill connection there as well. And you do have an outlet on this side and pretty straightforward on that. Again, no slide out, so easy to just hit the road and go. And then we're gonna go ahead and hop inside and take a look at the inside. So as we head inside here, again, let us know in the comments below as well what you think and what you like and don't like about this travel trailer. And as we go inside, take a look for yourself at this Grand Design Momentum map. Like, look at how much space is in here. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> for not having slide outs, this is a great amount of room. Yeah, it is. It is very impressive. It doesn't feel small by any means, even though it doesn't look that huge from the outside. Mm -mm. And nice and cool in here, even with the patio open, just having the air flowing feels great. It's almost probably like 87 degrees outside right now. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way from the back and go forward. I'm gonna talk about how some of this stuff converts here in the toy hauler aspect of it, how you can also get your seating. But come out to the patio here, you have a nice perimeter gate so you can keep everything enclosed there. And then the only thing I would have liked to see, and actually I say like to see, it's here. You have a pull down. Oh, that's awesome. Bug screen there. So you do have a pull down bug screen that went up and down very easily. So that is nice that you have that there. It has the um, little brush aspect at the bottom as well. So it'll keep bugs from crawling in underneath and then snaps right back up nice and easy. Why have I never seen that before? Um, we've mostly looked at fifth wheel toy haulers that oh. have the glass doors mm -hmm. on the back. Um, yeah, backup camera prep. And then coming into here, again, 101 inch wide body construction. So lots of width here. This is gonna be about a 13 and a half foot garage going all the way back through this space. Obviously you can see that gets cut pretty short there. So gosh, I wish I had a tape measure so I could get the width. This looks like it's about 14 inches, I would say. So I would, I would imagine that's coming out at least about 14 inches. Plus you have a little bit more here. So I would say it's safe to say probably 17, maybe 18 inches that you're losing on the width. So 101 minus 18 inches, that's about what your width will be in total here. And I apologize for not having a tape measure on me to get those exact measurements on this. But the total length going back is 13 and a half feet. So lots of toys will be able to fit in this space, especially if you just have four wheelers or motorcycles, stuff like that, no problem. Now, how this space will convert to get everything in here, you see how this sofa is up in this position right now. This sofa can do the same thing. And I definitely got to point out, this is probably the only travel trailer toy hauler that has its own special branded seating that just looks really nice. Um, but I'm going to show you how this other one goes down so you can see what that looks like when you put this into the down position. So it's really simple. You have these straps here that are holding this up in place. Release these. And I say really simple. I actually haven't put it down. I'm just assuming it's simple. And it sure is. We'll go down like that and you got to just put this leg down. Put that down there. Put this one down here. And there is a pin right here like a little push pin that you push down. Catch that there. And then that will go like so. So that took maybe 10, 15 seconds. It was very easy to get that down into the seating position. You have the cup holders in the middle and now you have two sofas in this area so people can sit and hang out. If you want to install a TV, TV would go on this wall right here so you can't have a TV. And then on top of that, if you want additional sleeping, then this converts into a sleeping space where you go here with that there are two more legs that come down off the corner for more support 
and go down here with that. And this is going to be about a king size bed almost. It's kind of like the width of a queen, but the length of like a long king. So a nice big long bed there that you have to sleep in. Again, there are more supports on the corners as well. So they will have additional support when you put that down. And on top of that, there's even more sleeping. If you pull these pins up here, this is the one, it's not like a super difficult thing, but just a little annoying thing with toy haulers is there are more pieces involved with moving things around. You're gonna do that there, and then you're going to see if I can remember how this is gonna go here. And actually what you're gonna do to bring this down is you pull it down in the back first. So you come back here, pull this down. It's on a strut, so because it's strut assisted, it'll be a little difficult to pull down. That's gonna free it off of this post right here that it was on. So then you can pull it down up in the front and it will clear. And that will give you another bed that you will have to sleep here that's gonna be the same size as the bed underneath. Um, I do gotta say it's a pretty worthless mattress that comes on here, but you can do something else with that space there um, and put a different size or a different type of mattress or mattress topper on top of there, whatever it may be. And that'll give you another sleeping space. And then to get it back up, just gonna do the reverse motion. The struts make this very easy. Push this up there. And then put the pins back in place just so it doesn't come down on its own. And all in all, I mean, very relatively easy compared to some other toy haulers that I've seen. So that's how this space will all convert. So you can get your toys in and out, have your seating and whatnot. And then that brings us to the living area where this doubles as a garage in the living area. So you're going to have your microwave here. It's a standard size RV microwave, not a residential size. Sound controls here and they are giving you the Rockford Fosgate audio system. So a much improved audio system compared to other travel trailer toy haulers in this class. USB port there to plug in a phone or something along those lines. You do have a hole right here so that you can wire things up to a TV if you mount a TV on this wall. So you can put things like a PlayStation, Blu-ray player, whatnot down in this space underneath. And then you'll have two drawers to open up down here. Moving to the right, you're going to have a stainless steel sink, all of your kitchen stuff. And the only thing we're not seeing in here is an oven. Interesting. Yeah, so no oven. Um, they decided to give you a lot more storage in replacement of the oven. So let us know what you think about that. But you get two big drawers here where your oven would normally go. What if that was an illusion and you saw an oven? <laughs> right, that would be funny. But I actually prefer that because I'm like, I don't know how often I would use an oven anyways. Out right. Three burner cooktop. It's a gas cooktop with a vent fan up above here to vent out any smells. Stainless steel sink with a stainless steel faucet. and storage down underneath there. Curious if y'all can hear the ACs going because the ACs are a little bit louder than some other trailers we've been in, but they're not super loud. So I'm curious if y'all can hear it on the mic. I like that they made this window as big as possible here. Yeah, lots of natural light coming in. Ran it all the way to where this outlet is there. And um, another outlet over here. Yep. I want to point out a couple things about Grand Design while we're here. Um, there's 165 watts of solar on here you're going to have all of your insulation here. So it's very well insulated for um, extended season camping. You're going to have the 101 inch wide body construction. Uh, the toy height is 76 inches. So you can load in a toy that's up to 76 inches. And then in the interior, there's an 84 inch interior height. So it feels very large in here. Um, 90 gallon freshwater tank capacity as well. So very impressive. All your storage up above here, these cabinets are like a tinted glass cabinet. You can definitely see through them, and we have heard people don't really like that it's see-through. Yeah, so let us know if you have any thoughts or comments on that, but they are very darkly tinted. And then that extends all the way back into here. In does that place. connect to this one? It does. Yeah, it's all open. More storage down under here, three drawers to pull out. Very nice, smooth glide hinges there on the drawers and then storage here. I was just looking down at the floor and you do have a 2,500 pound rated D-ring that is screwed to the floor there. 
So those will be all your supports when you're loading in toys. Furion 12 volt refrigerator that matches the wood tone of the travel trailer, which I'm actually not the biggest fan of. Um, I like it. It's a good size refrigerator in there. That really is a good size fridge. You like it with the wood tone on the panel for the fridge? I do. I think it looks simpler. Yeah. You let us know what you think. I would have liked to see just like a, I don't know, maybe a stainless steel or a black one. I don't know. I, I guess, can see the stainless steel so it can go with the yeah. kitchen sink. I guess sink. maybe now that I'm looking at it, it's not so bad. <laughs> um, speakers up in the ceiling here so you can see those there. You have one here and one behind us. And because it is a 50 amp RV, you have two ACs. Also got to point out, huge campsite window. Oh yeah. And just a ton of floor space here. If you want to add additional furniture or bean bags, anything to sit on here, there is a ton of space here to do that. Um, storage up above here, and that's the last thing. That goes all the way back. That is a big space there. There's also two vet fans in this space. So there's one above my head right here, and there's one above your head where the camera's at. So two vent fans in here. And then as we go back to the bedroom and bathroom, I just keep finding more storage, which is always a great thing. A little baby storage. <laughs> yep, little baby storage there. As you go back into this bedroom, this is where you really feel the width of the RV. And this hallway just feels wider than any other travel trailer hallway I've ever been in. Very impressive. These are going to be all your controls for the travel trailer. So manual switch controls for your exterior lights, your ceiling lights, your awning, your, and your um, water pump water heater, senior tank levels, things like that. This is your AC controls right there. And then as you go into the bathroom, pretty standard size bathroom size, although they gave you a rectangular shower where we often see a radius corner shower in a lot of travel trailers. And let's see how the height in here is doing. Oh, that is fantastic. This is probably like six four six five to right here so you could probably be almost seven feet with the skylight and fit in the shower they did mount the spot where the shower head will connect pretty low so i probably have to hold that up over my head being six two but great ceiling height in here nonetheless it is in here it's just down here yep there it is you have this kind of flimsy plastic type shower door which isn't bad because it's lightweight in it like if you hit your elbow on it or something it's not like hitting glass don't sound too excited about it yeah i mean it's <laughs> it is what it is. uh if you have a shower towel rod i was gonna say <laughs> just a shower rod but you have a towel rod here to hang some towels it seems like they're going with the stainless steel yeah lots of stainless steel accents porcelain toilet so that's nice no soft clothes on the toilet seat but yeah it's an entry level travel trailer so i wouldn't expect that Nice storage underneath there, pull out a drawer, plastic sink in the bathroom with stainless steel faucet and all your storage here. Lots of storage in like this area. So that looks nice. Sliding pocket door that will divide this space off. You have a latch right here. So when you want that to close. And then when we go back into the bedroom, this does have a very impressive bedroom, in my opinion, for this class of travel trailer. So when we go back in here, this is where you might hear the AC the most because this is a drop down AC. So we are actually going to turn it to the off position. This one is not Actually, you know what? It might be ducted through the AC system, but we had it opened up here, so it's just dumping all the air in this space. Um, but this is going to be a residential queen size bed, so a big bed in this travel trailer, and plenty of room to walk around both sides. I almost don't have to sidestep on this side of the travel trailer, and on that side, you don't at all. So, lots of good space there. The height in here is really felt in the bedroom because this is taller than a standard travel trailer. So lots of space here. Your ceiling height is still 84 inches in this space, so it feels very tall. Have a big storage space back through here. Nice looking headboard accent. And then you have USB ports and outlets on both sides of the bed back in a little tucked away cubby back there. And that's not the only storage you have. You also have storage underneath the bed. And then in addition to that storage, they managed to squeeze in some more with Where? the storage over here. So you have an additional wardrobe closet in this space there. Oh, wow. With some shelving. 
and two drawers that pull out. So plenty of space here to store a lot of clothes and you definitely don't see this often in more entry level travel trailers. So really appreciate that. About to put a TV on the wall, hookups for the TV. And that's pretty much it. Little drawers that pull out on both sides as well. Oh yeah, baby drawers. They actually go Long. back. Yeah, they go back very far. Wow. I do want to point out how big this door is. Yeah, this door is massive. I mean, this is a huge sliding door. So that will be for your privacy there. And then you can really see the height of this travel trailer when I walk out this way. I mean, I'm six foot two and this, it's not even close. I mean, I could almost jump in here. And so I really like that. Curious to know your thoughts on what you think about this travel trailer. If you like it, you don't like it. And if you are interested in purchasing this RV, you can text us at the number on the screen. We are excited to help you out and really grateful to be working with McLean's RV. They are a great organization that will take care of you. So if you text us at the number on the screen, we will make sure you have a great experience with purchasing your next RV and owning your next RV. Text us at the number when you're ready. And until next time, live firmly unbound.